Yo, 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 guys, it's your boy Magic here today, and today you might be wondering, Aaron, what the hell are you driving? Well, today we have a bit of news. Um, Be Best International dissolved um, due to lack of money loss and things in the driving community, and we not many contractors was hauling for us anymore, and we wasn't hauling a lot out, so the boss contacted me and went, Aaron... What we need you to do is deliver your tea cab back to the yard and unfortunately we're going to have to um, get rid of you in the nicest way, shape and form. And I was like, okay, not a problem. Uh, drove back to the yard, give them the tea cab and they was like, well, we, we know a company in Cardiff that's looking for drivers. Uh, one of our drivers is heading down that way to give them one of their trailers back. Do you want us to give you a lift? So I was like, sweet. Jumped in the truck and I ended up in Cardiff. And... This gave me one of the biggest opportunities of a lifetime, and I was quite happy to sit here and go, right, this is where we're going, this is what we're doing, but now this is giving me more wide-range opportunities while driving. So, this is the new truck. We are hauling for Miller Transport. Miller Transport is an international haulage service, so we'll be driving between the UK and Europe constantly, all the time, whenever they need new loads and what we are looking to be doing is driving internationally so our main goal for myself is I'm going to be an international driver I'm going to be over in Europe m m the majority of the time and uh, yeah so I've had a word with the boss and he was like brilliant Aaron you uh, the owner of this company we sat and had a meeting it was about three hours long um, he basically said, we have a H uh, S series in the yard that has been used before, but the driver is on holiday and uh, he's not too sure if he can make it back due to medical reasons. You are more than welcome to drive his vehicle or you can wait and get your own. I was like, do you know what? No, let's get on the road. Let's get this show done. So this is the animal I've been given. I absolutely adore this vehicle. So... Let me run down the specifications of this vehicle. It is a S580 V8. It has a 12 by 2 gearbox, so it gives me the extra two crawler gears for when I pull heavier loads. It's a 6x2-4, hence the mid-lift. And it's specced out to be a bit like the Dutch, but a bit like UK spec as well. So, it's a mixture of both. So, you can see we have all of the lights. We have four chrome LED um, NZRT lights and two Michelin yellow dolls and we have a variety of about nine lights on the visor bar we have the super logo with four, uh, four beacon lights um, which don't work at the moment because I've actually got them flicked off in the cab which looks quite stupid with them flickering so I've made them on standard and yeah so this is the animal we will be driving. So as you can see on the vehicle, we have two fog lights at the bottom. We have the LED with our DLR lights running and our four beams. And we have just a, underneath the dashboard, we have the two main spotlights. And we ha should have two in the top, but I opted... Well, the guy opted out previously to not have them in, but I have actually spoken to the owner of uh, Miller and he has said there will be some in the delivery for the next few months, so expect them to be installed on the truck quite quickly. So, this is our new venture. We will be heading across various different countries over vast amounts of time. So we could end up in Italy, Spain, Germany, Holland, you name it. So I'm quite looking forward to getting this animal out on the road. So what I'm going to do is quickly, I'm going to show you on the back here, we have an advanced aero kit. So if I turn my hazard lights on, which I can do by the key fob. You can see that I am going to do a full light test. So they go off. Then the reverse comes on. And then they flicker. So on the back of the whole cab. You can see we have the aero kit with the two uh, white spot lamps. For when we are actually doing anything with the air hoses. And uh, we have our extra extra light bar at the top there. Uh, which you can see there just in the corner there has been got a Scania Next Generation on it. But that will be removed over the near future. And 
this is something I've really liked for a long period of time. As you guys know, if you've stuck around for the channel for a long period of time, I have actually driven an S730 for night haulage. And uh, now I've been given an opportunity to jump back in and drive another S. And as you can tell, there's like the matte paint job on it, but it has a bit of gloss, which is quite cool. I really like that. So let's jump into the cab and we'll show you what's going on. So inside the cab we have the Danish, or the Dutch, beg your pardon, not Danish, uh, well, same thing, Danish uh, <laughs> curtain, we have the legend, no smoking and king pendant hanging inside the vehicle, this must have been from the previous owner, uh, well the previous driver, uh, if we have a look on the vehicle statistics over here, we have only driven 301 kilometres and we have a total of 2,600 kilometres left in the tank. Which is really, really good. And this is a automatic lift-up wheel. And it looks very smart. I can't wait. So, guys, this is going to be the new venture for me and my and yourselves. So, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And hopefully you look forward for me... Well, hopefully you look forward to seeing me pulling more loads in this remarkable S-series. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.